Please heading to Montreal aboard the train. In celebration of the NHL 75th anniversary, the Fedora Cad Maple Leafs gathered in Toronto, ready to board a train bound for Montreal in traditional travel. For me personally, it's the first time I've ever been on a train, so uh, you know it's uh, been a good experience that way, and it's extremely comfortable, lots of room. But uh, I don't think with the amount of traveling we do uh, during the season, there'd be enough time to sit on a train. Well, it's not too bad. The train's not too bad. I'm, uh, you know, we're, we get the flight centers and. And uh, the guys that I'm playing with, I think, are cheating a little bit, so I'm, I'm behind the eight ball. So uh, hey, you're hopefully, dead. Hey, you're dead. it's a longer, uh, longer train ride, so hopefully I'll make up for it in another two hours. <laughs> Train travel was last used by the NHL in 1967, but this special trip gave some the opportunity to rest, and others a chance to maybe make a little pocket change, and still others, time to reminisce. I remember the time back in, uh, I guess it was the late 60s, we decided uh, we were going to initiate uh, Jimmy Dory. He was a rookie on the team, and uh, Ronnie Ellison, you know, Keon and Horton and a bunch of us, and as it turned out, there was more rookies on the team. Pat Quinn and Mike Pellick and Brad Stellwood and a whole raft of them. They turned on the back and we almost got killed. If we hadn't been for Jim Horton, we'd have been all of them. They would have gotten the best of us. So we uh, laugh about, uh, you know, some of those crazy, crazy times. I'd say times are still crazy. Just ask Leafs PR director, Bob Stellick. Now over, but the celebrations continue. The Maple Leafs will now prepare to take part in history as they face off against the Canadians in traditional uniforms to open the 91-92 season Thursday night at the Forum. Nancy Zino, CSN, Montreal. The question is, did she get out of the way in time?